Welcome to the tutorial on searching for primary and review literature using PubMed. Why choose PubMed? PubMed is a database that allows you to search for articles from health science and medical journals. It covers the content of over 5,000 journals. PubMed is a freely available database, but keep in mind that not all of the journals indexed by PubMed are freely available. The University of Toronto subscribes to many journals and therefore provides you with access to a rich array of sources. PubMed is also a great place to start your research. PubMed works quite differently than Web of Science. In order to optimize a search in Web of Science, you would want to use search strategies such as wildcards, as well as using AND or OR between your search terms. For more information about this, please watch the Finding Primary Research and Review Articles in Web of Science video. In PubMed, on the other hand, you would search a bit differently. PubMed interprets your search behind the scenes, and this optimization feature would be turned off if you start using AND or 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 wildcard asterisks. Before you begin your search, you must develop a search strategy. Ask yourself, what is my topic? Our example will be nucleotide excision repair in eukaryotic cells. Next, identify your search terms. In our example, our search terms will be nucleotide excision repair and eukaryotic cells. Access PubMed by going to the Gerstein Library homepage and then click on the PubMed link. On the following page, click on connect to this resource. If you are accessing PubMed from off campus, you'll now be prompted to enter your UTOR ID and password. Even though PubMed is freely available, it is best to use the link from the library website. This will save you time since it will have links to full text articles that the university subscribes to. Even though PubMed is free, not all the journals it covers are freely available, but the University of Toronto subscribes to many of the journals and provides you with a rich array of resources. Enter your terms into the search field within PubMed. Click Search. We have 1,271 journal article results. Each article summary will display the title of the article, the authors, and the information pertaining to the journal that each article was published in. Our current results display a mixture of primary research articles and review articles. As you look at your results, notice that there may be a section called Titles with your search terms. These are articles in which your search terms appear in the title of the article. In other results, the search terms may be found in the abstract or other parts of the citation. You may want to take a look at these results because if the search terms are found in the article title, it is very likely that the article is very much on topic or focused on what you're searching for. You will want to scan the abstracts of your other results as well to see if any are on topic and to look for clues that they might be primary research articles. To see the abstract, you can click on the article title. However, a more efficient way is to change the display settings for your search results. To do this, click on the Display Settings menu and choose Abstract Format. Click Apply to save your changes. You will find the abstract below the article information. Remember to review the abstract for signs that your article is a primary article. A Materials and Methods section, a Results section, and a Discussion section should be noted. Although these sections are not explicitly labeled in this abstract, if we look closely we can see that the authors discuss their method, their results, and the Discussion section of their article. You can access the full text of the article by clicking on either of the two links at the bottom of the abstract. Now that we have accessed the full text of the article, we can skim the document to search for further clues which indicate that this is a primary research article. The Materials and Methods section is indicated here. Here is the Results section. Often, a Results section will include figures and tables which depict the data being discussed in the text. Within the Discussions section, the authors interpret their findings. Don't forget that at the end of the primary article, you will find your list of references. Next, we will look at how to find review articles in PubMed. From the search results page, select the review link to limit only to review articles. Here, 436 of our 1,217 results are review articles. Under the abstract for these results, we can click on Publication Types to display the information which highlights that this is a review article. Once the abstract has been reviewed to ensure that the article is on topic, we will click on the Full Text Online link to access the full text of the article. Here is the full text article. 
When skimming over the document, you will note that the same sections you would expect to find in a primary research article are not present in a review article. Although review articles do not have a methods and materials section nor a results section or discussion section, they do contain an extensive references section. Congratulations! You've finished the tutorial. Now's the time to try conducting your own search. Click here to access the Gerstein homepage to get started.